station, Houston. Matt, are you ready for the event? We are ready for the event. KGTV, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is KGTV, Jared Ahrens. How do you hear me? I've got you loud and clear, sir. How me? I've got you as well, Matt. Thank you so much for joining us. So excited to be here to be talking to San Diego. This is really cool. So I'm going to do a countdown and we'll start. We've got a kind of pre-scripted intro to bring you in. Then we'll do an interview. It's only going to last about three minutes. Uh, and then we're going to wrap. But don't go away because that's just the recorded part that we're going to air in its entirety on the air. But then we're going to, since we have the longer window, we'll do a few more questions after that that we may repurpose for some digital stuff for later, okay? Let's do it. All right. Then I will start the countdown, and we will get going. Here we go. In five, four, three. NASA's partnership with SpaceX has reinvigorated America's interest in space exploration. San Diego has become a big part of that excitement. In March, a Navy pilot from the USS Reagan led a group of astronauts to the International Space Station as part of Crew 8. This was that launch. Days later, that crew arrived to open arms aboard the ISS. This footage shows the moment that University of San Diego alum Matt Dominic went inside the space station. And right now, Commander Dominic is joining us from space. Matt, this is kind of cool for me. It's my first time interviewing anyone from space, but it's your first time in space, which I think is even cooler, right? Absolutely. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. It's just a great place to be, and I'm glad this is your first time talking to us. Tell us a little bit about Expedition 71, Matt, and what you're doing up there, what kind of research you're working on. Oh, man, we do so many different things across so many international partners. Right now, our space station, you know, we kind of go in flows just like a Navy ship. Uh, right now, we're in a maintenance period for a couple weeks as we fix things, we take out the trash, we, we put things away, we reorganize, and we get ready for another phase of science. So when I first got up here a few months ago, we were raging through science, uh, doing experiments from all different countries around the world, 3D printing, you know, uh, parts of the human body for, in space, like cardio, uh, heart parts. Uh, it was really incredible science growing plants, uh, working with, with people from around the world, just raging in science. And then we go into a maintenance period and we're getting ready to do a big science push here in a couple weeks. So, Matt, you are from the San Diego uh, area. At least you went to school here, USD, and then your Navy career. How did all of that, your time in San Diego and in the Navy, prepare you for this career now as an astronaut? Uh, we, you know, up here on the space station, we have to do everything, right? We're maintainers, we're scientists, we're engineers, we're operators, uh, and we have to do all of those jobs. And so the background of a liberal arts education where you get to have you know, a wide breadth of knowledge and education and then operational experience from the United States Navy uh, and flying airplanes comes forth and all comes together because you've got to be a master of all, all trades up here in the space station. So you've been up there for about three months. What's it like for somebody who's experiencing their first time in space? What is that experience like? Oh, I mean, obviously, I, I think you I, you just rolled the video coming through into the hatch to the space station. It's an incredible experience. And you just grow a little bit each day as you become more and more accustomed to your environment. At first, just like keeping track of things is, is really hard. Like everything just tends to float off. And uh, you kind of try to manage that. And you get better and better at it. And eventually, you're comfortable with it. <laughs> That's right. You're just, you're just letting the microphone start to laugh because right you, you don't need to hold like things, right? Laughing. Right. It's just floating around in space has got to be a weird feeling. It's it's a great feeling floating around in space. And, you know, uh, we've been trying to get ready for the Olympics coming up and we've been practicing uh, some gymnastics up here for maybe doing an Olympic intro video. Uh, and we're just having a real blast doing it, getting better and better each day at, at uh, flying in space. What's the biggest adjustment from uh, life on terra forma here on Earth to life in space? Is it the gravity? Is it the bathroom that everyone always talks about? Like, what's the, what's the one thing that's been the, the weirdest adjustment for you? I don't know where you're hanging out that everybody's always talking about the bathroom, but uh, just getting used to just 
floating all the time. And after a while, you know, like after a couple weeks, I thought it was normal. And you go through these cycles of this is crazy to this is normal to this is crazy. Uh, but floating around everywhere is is absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, you wake up in the morning and you're in your crew quarters and you brush your teeth and you can be, you know, working within three minutes by floating there. You know, my commute to work is floating down a hallway. It's pretty awesome. We all wish we had a commute like that. Matt, everybody here in San Diego is proud of you. We are behind you 100%. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, now we're going to continue. Matt, that, that was amazing. How much fun are you having being in space with this? You can kind of see it in the, the joy on your face right now. Uh, it's, it's a blast. Uh, you're, you know, you, you, I grew up wanting to, you know, fly and explore and explore everything around me. And this is the ultimate exploration. Uh, I'm always going a thousand miles an hour in my head. And this job satiates that so well, because, you know, I can go do one task and get really into it and be really excited about it. And at the next moment I can go be doing another task. It's a completely different field and they're all entertaining to me. Uh, you know, I, I've gotten experience in my job to go out with, you know, the experts in geology, experts in aerospace, and you get to go work with some of the best top experts in the world in all of their different fields. Uh, I don't have a medical background, but I get to do medical stuff up here. It's super fascinating for me to be jump in to so many different incredible topics and, uh, and to really go deep dive into with some of the best people in the world. It just, my brain loves it. How did you get from the, the idea of I want to be a Navy pilot to now I want to be an astronaut. And what was it like going on that journey, if you will? I mean, you, you take, it took it one step at a time. You know, I was in, I was at University of San Diego and, uh, you know, you see an airplanes flying out of North Island in Miramar and you go, ah, I, that kind of looks cool. Let's go do that. Right. And you go fly and then you said, well, hey, you know, I would really have fascinated how do airplanes work? How do we make them better? How do we, you know, put better systems in them? And you know, so, you know, hey, well, I want to go be a test pilot and make those things better and we can go develop these things. And then, you know, you start meeting folks and you realize, hey, well, maybe you could go be an astronaut and you apply and go do it. And you just, I don't know, it's just one step at a time, sir. <laughs> and, and you got that moment where they said, hey, we'd, we'd like you to, to join this astronaut program. And then other moments along the way, it must have been just as invigorating when they said, okay, you're going to be part of crew eight and okay, your launch date is this. Like, that excitement just has to keep building and building for you, doesn't it? Absolutely. I, I, I remember that a gentleman named Paul once told me he calls them pinch me moments. And so you can think back in your life and you can think back to pinch me moments, right? The day you got married, the day, you know, my children were born, the day you got the phone call that say, hey, you're going to be on crew eight, the day NASA said, hey, you're going to be an astronaut, the day they called me and said, hey, you've been selected to go to, you know, jet pilot school. Uh, all of those are pinch me moments. And I'm super fortunate to have had so many in my life. Uh, you mentioned your children. Uh, this is streaming live right now on, on NASA's TV station. If they are watching, if your family's watching, any message that you want to pass along to them? I mean, I mean, I absolutely love you guys, miss you guys, and uh, we'll be home soon. <laughs> right on. Now, you, you talked about gymnastics, getting ready for the Olympics. Can you, can you do a zero-gravity roll right now, or are there, there are too many little bells and whistles around you? What are you talking oh, there about? There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to top being able to do that. Uh, how much longer are you guys up in space for? What's the rest of your mission look like? Uh, we got about uh, 45, 50 days or so. I kind of noticed that we have 45 days left. We do lots of experiments on us. We are a large portion of the experiments that are done up here, and uh, the. About 45 days prior, I remember getting briefed, hey, you're going to get lots of experiments. So right now they're doing lots of tests on me to check out my body and see how things are going. We did tests 45 days after launch, mid-mission, and 45 days before return. So that's kind of a checkpoint for me. All the human experiments are ramping up to get ready to go home. All right. Matt, this was a blast for me. Thank you to you. Thank you to everybody at NASA for helping us set this up. And, and like I mentioned before, San Diego is really proud of you. This is great to have kind of one of our own up there representing San Diego and, and helping to move this space station forward. Do you have any plans for once you're back on Earth? Anything you want to do right, you know, shortly after you land? 
Uh, so many things, but uh, I've been thinking about doing a, a road trip, a camping trip with uh, family for some time, driving around the country. All right, that sounds like a lot of fun. We'll let you get back to the important work you're doing up there. Again, thank you for joining us, Matt. Awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy San Diego. I know the weather's beautiful right now. It always is. Station is the Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you to all participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.